Midway through MPAA 2019, we're out in the indoor statics. There's always a couple of interesting airplanes, but you walk past a Sabre, especially one with a little bit of history that I'm aware of, and you kind of got to stop and go, okay, what's this thing doing? And then I see you're doing upset training and an actual Sabre liner. Tell me what you're doing with the program, first of all. So we teach corporate pilots how to recover from upsets, no matter what the cause of the upset, whether it's wake turbulence, system anomalies, weather, we teach them how to recover. And our mantra is push, roll, power. And what better platform to do it in is in a corporate airplane. This airplane has very similar roll rates to most modern corporate aircraft flying today. It just seems to be the perfect platform. What inspired you to do something like this? There's got to be a lot easier ways to make a living. My passion has always been in aviation. I spent 28 years at United Airlines as an airline pilot, as well as flying air shows throughout my aviation career of approaching many years. And um, I felt it necessary to be part of the give back to training our future pilots. And as we all know, loss of control in flight is the number one cause of fatalities in corporate, airline, and the general aviation community. So here we are trying to make our community safer across the board. Our program consists of two days. We do about five hours of ground school. In my 28 years at United Airlines, I found my biggest takeaway to be the study of past accidents. So we don't make the same mistake that our predecessors have made. Then we do one hour in the L-39, followed by a debrief. And then the second day, we do a second hour in the L-39 and then a debrief. That's to build the foundation of our mantra of push roll power. Then we progress to the Sabre Liner, a corporate jet. Very similar roll and pitch rates, very similar feel with stick forces, which is, in my opinion, is very important to fly something very similar to what you're flying every day. I would imagine that among your clients, there are going to be some people who are really kind of surprised at what they didn't know prior to the course. You know, there's a lot of good simulator training programs out there, and I highly encourage in-type flight training for UPRT in simulators, especially the high-altitude recovery programs. However, when it comes to in-flight training, there are certain things that you can do and you can experience that you don't get in a simulator. In a simulator, when you push on the push roll power, when you push, you can't identify what is light in the seat because the simulator won't provide that. It's really important in the airplane to experience that light in the seat. Many clients that we have come through our program, the first time they push, they push to negative. They'll push to maybe negative 0.5, negative one, things in the cockpit start flying. Flight attendants, carts, passengers that are not strapped down end up on the ceiling. Secondly, when you do go negative and your feet then come off of the rudder pedals and are dangling on the bottom of the instrument panel, when the yoke that was up here near chest level is now down near waist level, that's a big shock to the pilot. And it's important that they experience that so they can react properly to an upset. Something the FAA brought to our attention many years ago, and we're really big on it, is the psychophysiology in the aviation and startle factor. It's really important that we, as pilots, understand how our brain is going to react to a startle in the cockpit. It's very easy for the 
amygdala to jump right in and start putting in inputs that are not proper. They've pulled back to go up for 20 years, and now when it happens in a split second, their initial input is aft, and we don't want that. We want the push, roll, power, stabilized approach. Randy, we thank you for your time, and we certainly look forward to seeing more and more good things happen with a program like this. God, uh, God willing, and God bless. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure being here, Jim. Aero TV is brought to you by the True Blue Power TA202 series high power USB charging port requires no bulky external power converters for 10 to 32 VDC installation. The in-seat cabin and cockpit power source delivers all the power you need in a small, economical, easy to install package. Available from your local avionics dealer. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero.